I traveled from India to Australia on December 28, 2021. Thought of preparing a travel video by the day I arrived itself, but it took me 10 days to settle down. Finally, I am here with some information which might be helpful for you guys when you are planning your travel to Australia. <laughs> Namaste, hey, hello cuties. This is Jyotika here. Welcome to my brand new channel, Just Chronicles. First things first, get all your prerequisites ready. Get all your uh, documents Xerox, do the web check in, and uh, spend your quality time with your family. Stay at home, guys. This is seriously important. Have hot water and steam daily a week before you are traveling and uh, have good sleep, eat good food too. <laughs> From India to Australia on 28th December 2021. Mine was like Hyderabad to Delhi, Delhi to Sydney. Hyderabad at 6.30 am in the morning flight. I will reach Delhi by 8.45 and other flight at 1.15 afternoon and will reach Sydney the next day. So in order to have your travel hassle free, get all your documents well prepared or well uh, what I can say, well Xerox. I was like uh, getting all my documents in a folder which might be helpful. So the first thing first, first you need to get your passport. I just customized my uh, passport folder. I thought as this is my first uh, travel to Australia, I was very much precise to get all that. So passport, ID proof and the next one is uh, e-ticket. For me, uh, it is mentioned as 30 cages in the main luggage and 5 cages with the hand luggage. As this is my first travel, I don't want to mess up anything regarding the weightage issues or anything. So I prepared, I packed well and uh, for me it went well. Next e-ticket after uh, the negative report, COVID negative report, you need to get tested within the ICMR approved labs. Uh, you can directly find that uh, ICMR approved uh, labs list within the Google search itself. Just type like ICMR approved labs within Hyderabad. You can get a list of things. I did it with the M5. Uh, I'm fine, I guess. <laughs> So with the ICMR approval lab, they will take both the nose and throat swab and uh, they will provide the report within 24 hours. Mine was on 28th morning, 6.30 flight. So I did my uh, testing on 26th afternoon, 2 o'clock and I received the reports on 27th afternoon, 2 o'clock. So it took me nearly 24 hours to get the report. So it's always suggested, just give a 24 hours gap before you taking any covid test okay this one is covid vaccination report uh, if you done with the two doses you need to have your name date of birth and uh, passport number and your first and second dose dates to be present in the details of your covid certificate uh, it was like if you ask the covid center they will provide you inter if you are an international traveler they will provide you with these details in your certificate so get that it's done okay it was like if you are holding any visa you need to maintain it uh, Xerox. I'm currently traveling on Mr. Visa 600 so I got my visa and it was like my travel exemption in case you know we applied it on uh, October I guess I will prepare a separate video on how I got my travel exemption and visa which might be helpful for the next uh, details so get your travel exemption and visa if you are an, a peer or citizen holder I think you will obviously having that citizenship uh, email or citizenship certificate where you can show nothing can be asked if your passport is uh, Australian itself. So I think it's just to get the things without any hassle. Just make sure you are documenting everything. So the next one is uh, Australian Travel Declaration (ATD). It needs to be filled from seven days prior to your travel to four. 72, 72 hours sorry 72 hours before uh, so we did it on four days before our travel uh, and you will receive a QR code 
that is the important thing uh, in order to avoid any internet issues or any site issues or any error in reloading the page it's always better if you done prior to your travel filling this ATB form if you have any doubts related to uh, how to fill this ATB form just put your comments on the comment box I can try to help it with you in some cases very very rare cases people might ask for uh, health insurance too uh, regarding your insurance so get it done it's like uh, I did with a basic uh, insurance documented so I have one insurance form which uh, I have shown whenever I see it and second one the web check-in trust me guys there will be an error with your web check-in portal if you rush into the things with the last minutes itself so always get your things done prior in order to avoid any uh, messy up things to be happen at the last moment for me when we are trying to do the web check-in there was an error we anyways filled everything but we got an error like show this if you were boarding pass center so uh, this Treat it as a boarding pass, something they have provided some uh, details apart from giving us the boarding pass. The next one, uh, if you are traveling on a visitor visa particularly, people are asking for written tickets now itself. So we prepared one, uh, I mean prepared in the sense we got a written ticket too. Uh, uh, with the span mine was like a three month stay over here so we got a return ticket and in case like if they ask anyone we need to show this so these are the documents which we need to make sure we are having in handy whenever they ask we are in a moment to show them straight away and one more thing to add on guys so this whatsapp group and it group they have helped me a lot I found a couple of people who are traveling on the same day itself uh, so it became easier for me even if your parents are traveling or if you are traveling alone with your month's babies I think it's a best thing to do you just create a group in whatsapp just invite all the people who are traveling in the same day to join them so it will be easier for you guys to get to know that uh, where what's the terminal number how much time it's taking for to do the check-in and what all the documents they are asking whether you did your covid tests or not all this will be helpful it helped me a lot personally i can say i have found a person who was traveling from bangalore to delhi delhi to sydney just like me like uh, hyderabad to delhi delhi to sydney and i have found another member who was directly doing the check-in within from a daily tour. Now, after getting all my documents well prepared and my bag is done, I am ready to fly. <laughs> so it was like I reached Hyderabad airport uh, three hours prior. I was like uh, 3.30 a.m. itself. I was in the airport thinking that they will provide uh, me boarding pass directly to Sydney and they will check all the documents it might take time and I have heard there are a long queues which was taking a lot of time to complete the checking but to be frank guys uh, they are not providing any boarding passes from the Hyderabad itself they asked me to get the immigration done in Delhi and I need to get the boarding pass from Delhi to Sydney within uh, Delhi airport itself. In Hyderabad, uh, they have just done the baggage checking. It will directly go to Sydney. You can uh, directly connect, uh, collect your baggage, collect directly from the Sydney itself. Uh, so I was provided with the Hyderabad to Delhi boarding pass and next step by uh, Delhi, we are provided with the Delhi to Sydney boarding passes. So I am the first person I guess reached airport that early. There was no one before me so my baggage checking went so smoothly. <laughs> Within 10 minutes uh, it was all done and I am free to roam everywhere wherever I want to. <laughs>
flight is on time uh, by 6:30 sharp we are ready to depart and they have they are provided with a breakfast too and uh, on time we reached delhi it was like around 8:30 i reached and it took me 8:45 to finally get on the plane and do all the things follow the uh, indications of transfer help desk then they will provide you the boarding pass from delhi to city they will check your covid uh, negative report your vaccination report and your boarding pass from hyderabad to delhi and along with your passport details they will check all the details and they will provide you the boarding pass from delhi to city as we had already completed our baggage check in within hyderabad itself it make our uh, check in pretty much simple within delhi if you guys are traveling from delhi to sydney you, i mean you are uh, departing from delhi to sydney there are a lot of queues guys you need to be there uh, for our prior so it will ease your baggage check in there are so many people waiting in the queues so it will be take a lot it may take a lot of time it's always best if you are there for hours prior to your flight so your baggage shipping will be done very smooth next we waited in the immigration uh, uh, counter where we are asked for uh, my visa details my reason to visit and my exemption details all that and uh, they have checked all the documents whatever we have uh, taken with us and uh, yes so we are good to travel within 15 minutes it's a we done yeah and there are four more hours for me to do something within the delhi airport itself i was like so much worrying what to do or how it will happen but it went so smoothly they have asked all the details and we have provided everything <laughs> huge queues at delhi airport so be early and complete everything as soon as possible then sit to relax i can say that uh, and they will provide you a mask uh, a shield and uh, sanitizers use them delhi airport is the most risky airport because a lot of international travelers are having their transit times and everything within the delhi airport itself so mask up shield up cover up and let's go on a mission <laughs> to rome or something like that uh, but be safe guys uh, not within early hours you are not likely to get it missed so be be careful be safe travel safe everything will be safe the uh, gates will open our flight was on time and uh, we are uh, provided with all the necessary items to get into the plane and uh, that's how it went my journey went so smoothly and uh, it's a good thing our flight uh, reached on time it's like on 29th morning uh, 7 am we reached sydney uh, next on queue they are asked for some documents where i have provided that like the general documents you have visa you have covid reports all that and you have boarding pass you have boarding pass and passport that's the main thing after uh, you check in and uh, there was baggage collection everything went so smooth my first ever journey it was like a tension free journey i experienced <laughs> Your uh, special attention. Uh, you 
need to test negative within 24 hours you need to take covid test in the first day next second test on sixth day and third test on 12th day once you got the negative report then only you are allowed to roam within the city anywhere without getting a report if you are roaming trust me guys people or the government is uh, having a huge fines it was like around five thousand five hundred dollars or six thousand dollars fine for you people if you roam in the cities without having a negative report so be safe be relaxed uh, get some shower or something get tested in the airport itself uh, you will get a free test free covid test for all the travelers who are reaching sydney so get into that queue and get tested I stayed outside airport where it took me a lot of hours to get tested negative uh, so it's always best thing if you get tested within airport itself uh, there you will get it free and uh, within within an hour you will get uh, the test and within 24 hours you will get the result then you are ready to roam within the australian streets i'm going to make another video on how i got my visa what all the items i took from india to australia my baggage check-ins and all that and this covid testing uh, report within australia how much time it's taking how i settled down within australia within a week please do subscribe and follow for more updates stay tuned bye bye